What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. As you can see, me and King. <laughs> We're in uh, the Forerunner right now, my girlfriend's car, and we are going to pick up my new drag pack. I'm super, super excited, guys. This has been a long time coming. Just a quick, you know, announcement that they are they are polished, and I've been wanting to go polished ever since I got the car, man. And I finally, um, after just years of going black and chrome, black and chrome, and then all black, and I've never done all polished, so... Finally gonna do some all polish, man. We're gonna go unbox them before we take them over to the homie John. He's gonna mount and balance them for us. And I cannot wait to see these on the car, guys. So let's go over there. It's been a long time coming, man. I cannot wait. So we got bias plies front and rear. So we're gonna see the difference between these wheels, the weight, the difference between the welds and these ones. So I wanna, I brought my little trusty scale with me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh the wheels before we put the tires on, see how much the tires weigh. Uh, they're bias ply, so they shouldn't weigh that much, and I'm not going to put tubes in them. So, without further talking, man, let's go check them out. Here we are, guys. Bigs and littles, man. I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait to get back to racing, man. Uh, I probably can't weigh these one at a time, yeah, because they're taped together. But I'm curious. We'll weigh them two, two and two, and see how much they weigh. And then, let's get the wheels out real quick before we take them over to John. That way. You know, we can check them out. All right, guys, so 26 by four and a half. Oh, this says 24 pounds right here, so. 23.7. 23.7 for two tires. There we go, guys. I picked them both up at the same time, so I'm not expecting them to be very heavy. This one already feels light as it is. Really excited for this, guys. You don't know how long the kid has been waiting to go polished. And this looks like raw aluminum on the inside, so I hope they came polished already. Jeez. Damn, guys. This looks damn good. After we get everything mounted and we get them on the car, we're gonna speak about pricing because these things are damn cheap, man. For the price, you cannot beat it, man. Literally saved a thousand dollars on my weld setup, literally just going with this. So, I know that Jeg's wheels are a remake of Vision wheels. Literally says it on the box right here. Literally says Vision Wheels Incorporated, but yeah guys these are the jeg wheels race stars so let's get them on the scale and see how much they weigh really curious 20 pounds 20.3 pounds I'll show you guys 20.3 pounds so with the tire they're saying that the tires are probably uh 10 pounds each so it's probably 30 i mean 30 pounds for wheel and tire so we will see you guys because I don't know, that doesn't sound correct. The welds are billet forged, so they should be lighter than this raw aluminum stuff. But um, the fronts were 36 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. I will put up a picture right here. But they were about 70 pounds a piece for the front. So it'll be weird if we dropped weight going with this. I know we will drop weight because the front had a radio on it, and the radials are heavier than a bias ply, as you guys can tell. Squishy, guys. Uh, so I know we might have dropped weight, but I don't think we're gonna beat the weight of the weld. So if it does, that's cool. We save money and we're gonna save weight. Uh, so yeah, let's check out the 15 by 10s real quick. All right, guys, and these are the rears. This is the specs on them, five by four and a half, obviously. But the back spacing is a, a big role in this. They're five and a half. My welds were six and a half, so I believe these are supposed to stick out further. We will see. I don't really care. As long as they do their job, I don't care if they stick out a little bit. The 28s were kind of huge, so they did bulge out a little bit with the with the six and a half backspacing. But we are running the 26, so let's unbox this 15 by 10 and check it out. Really excited, guys! You don't even understand. It's weird how the fronts feel heavier. Oh man! Damn, son! These look sick. Not gonna lie, King. Come check these out, boy. Look at these. Crazy, right? All right. Let's get them on the scale. Damn, dude, look at that. Look at that meat, boy. 
picked up the whole damn scale. Let's see what they weigh. What do they weigh? 19.1 pounds. So does it going two inches actually weigh that heavy? This is 19.1 pounds, guys. For the rears. I don't know if you guys saw it, but 19.1 pounds, front and rear is big and smalls. Cannot wait, guys. Let's load these up in the car, take him to John, let him do his thing, let him work his magic with the mountain balancing, and we'll get him on the car, guys. Really, really excited, man. This is it's awesome. I'm glad we got the little data of the weight. That way we can, we can compare if we have some weight savings on the car. Obviously, I'm going to weigh them again with the tires on. I just wanted to see what the wheels weighed alone, so 19 pounds. And then 21 pounds for the fronts. So let's go ahead and get it get it started, guys. Tomorrow. What's going on, guys? It is the next day. We are going to go pick up our wheels. And John gave me a little sneak peek. Damn it, John! Why'd you do that? Uh, they look so sick, guys. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. I'm really, really happy. They turned out better than I expected. So let's get to the shop and go pick these wheels up. I'm really excited. Let's go. Professional, the, the huh? in there. <laughs> oh, hey, I was on the phone. Damn, bro, they look good. Yeah. Really dirty. Oh, we, like I said, I put that paste all up on all. Okay. So they should have no problem sealing it. Oh, yeah, bro. How much lighter were they? Uh, the fronts were like. Well, because I just did the wheels, the fronts were 19 pounds, and then the last ones with the tires, they were like. 35 pounds a piece. So I think I think this is this sh the setup should be lighter because they're bias play. Yeah. So we're gonna go weigh them right now with the with the wheels on them, with the tires. So. They look good. They look good. Got them all done, man. The stickies, they look good as hell. Soon, as you guys can tell, we're gonna lower this thing soon. And these guys are gonna be putting it off for me. No credit needed. Financing available, man. 4473 Baldwin, Corpus Christi, Texas, Texas Tires and more. Hit up John, man. It's my boy. Let him know Chris sent you guys, and he will hook y'all up. Um, even if y'all don't have the money for it, you know, you get you guys in. Finance for three months, no, no interest charge. So, you know, you get your wheels now. You don't have to wait. Texas Tires and more. The homie. Support a local business, guys. We're going to lower this thing down soon. And you know, it's always good to support the homies and uh, help the homies out with the business. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, wheels in the back. I'm super excited guys, man. These wheels, they're turned out way better than I thought they were going to be. You know, for the price, guys, I paid $600 for these wheels. Not the tires, but just the wheels. And for the price, man... You can't beat it, man. These look freaking awesome. I can't wait to get them on the car. I'm curious to see. I know that it would look damn good on the car if the car was all white, but we're gonna go check it out and see what they look like on the car with the white and black color scheme. I'm ready, man. Let's go check it out. So we just got back to the shop. Told homie that we were gonna drag his little 5.3. And look what we got a little surprise over here. Boy, think he's slick. <laughs> you fuck with it? Yeah, uh, yeah, that look nice. That was gonna look good driving past your ass. Nah, you can get dragged. <laughs> Damn, the hoes look good. Jeez. Smashing Basil, a pimp mobile. <laughs> Alright, guys, a moment of truth. This is what I've been waiting for. If we can tear this that way. The ways. Thirty-two point four eight. Thirty-two point five. And the welds are thirty-five point one two. So the fronts are lighter so far. Which is expected because the bias ply higher is lighter than the radio. So we'll see if bias ply rear and aluminum rear is lighter than the front. Let's 
see if we save money and weight. Okay. Yeah, we picked up weight in the rear. So this is 42 pounds. Man, that can't be right. <laughs> so 136 total for the welds. 148. So we picked up 12 pounds, which, you know, it is quite a bit a lot. 12 pounds is quite a bit a lot in the rotating mass, but for 12 pounds, we saved a thousand dollars and we got a chrome setup now. This thing kind of looks like some Terminator wheels. So let's get the hubcaps on there, um, the lug nuts, and let's lower her down, see what it looks like. <laughs> I haven't been this happy about a damn wheel and tire set up in so long man I was kind of sketchy about the chrome on black but look at this There you have it. The car is now on some aluminum wheels. And she looks damn good, man. So, just for specs, guys. I know you guys are going to be bothering me about the specs. The fronts are 17 by 4 halfs. The rears are 15 by 10s. Uh, the fronts are 26 by 4 half 17 tire, M&H, uh, bias ply, race masters. And the rears are 26 by 10 uh, Mickey Thompson ET, ET drags. And then... These are actually, everyone told me that they weren't gonna fit right, this and that. I kind of like the fitment. This is a five and a half inch backspace, and you guys can see, they kind of stick out just a little bit, which it's not bad. It gives the car a nice uh, stance, because the weld's kind of tucked in to the fender a little bit. I like the way it fits, man. With a 28, uh, it's definitely gonna fill the gap a little bit better. You guys can tell I rolled the fenders already, so the 28 will fit better if we go up in gear. You guys can tell, man, she looks damn good. There she is, all in her glory. I thought it was gonna look weird with the black and white, but honestly, it looks damn good, which it kind of matches because tires are black, obviously. So, this is just kind of a sneak peek because I actually wanted some chrome Terminator wheels and these are Terminator style, so it doesn't look bad. It looks damn mean. So next in the car, guys, for cosmetic, we need to get this thing refinished, re clear coated because you guys can tell it's so dull. So is the hood, man. It's seen better days. The good, the ugly, and the bad. But the new headlights look damn fucking good with it, man. This thing just looks so good. I can't wait to see this thing launching at the track. Dragging ass. And for all those guys telling me, man, you're lying. You don't like those wheels. The welds are way better, this and that. Get your three $4,000 wheels against these little $600 of wheels right here. And I'll 60 foot out your life. Tell them boys, stop playing with 4.6. Everybody that doubts this car gets dragged. Everyone that talks shit about the two valve gets dragged and this little car is just making moves guys So Let's keep on making moves. Let's keep on going hard Guys, I'm just I'm really excited for the future and I hope you guys are too after all these videos You know, I gave you guys daily advice today's advice is Don't listen to nobody and don't give up a lot of people told me not to do nitrous on this car A lot of people told me that it's just a two valve is trash. Don't build it a lot of people told me that these cars aren't fast and they'll never beat coyotes and stuff like that. You guys have figured it out. Nitrous 2 valve 
It's going hard. I did waste some money on it. I'm not gonna lie, I did waste some money on it. But it's going hard. It's beating coyotes. It's lasting. It's been on 10 bottles of nitrous. So do your research, guys. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. And you can do it, guys. I love y'all. Thank y'all for viewing the video. It's your boy, 4.6 Chris. I'm really, really excited for the future, guys. I hope you guys are too. Please drop a comment down below. Drop a thumbs up. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.